In this video, we're going to see about abrupt show placenta. In my previous video, I have explained about placenta previa. You can watch the video by clicking on the link in the description of this video. Also, don't forget to check out our new merch. You can get 50 rupees off by using the promo code 50 off. It's a limited time edition, so hurry up. Welcome to Medwits Made Simple. Subscribe to our channel for more medical videos. So in this video, we're going to see about abrupt of placenta under the following headings. So what is abrupt of placenta? Abrupt of placenta is a condition where there is premature separation of placenta from the uterus, resulting in antepartum hemorrhage. So there are two important causes for antepartum hemorrhage, which are very important to know. So every medical profession professional must know about these two uh, important causes of antepartum hemorrhage because these are obstetric emergency. So uh, one of that is placenta previa, which I've explained in the previous video. And in this video, we'll see about abrupt placenta. So you must know um, the basic things at least about placenta previa and abrupt placenta. Let us see about the types of abrupt placenta. There are two main types of abrupt placenta. The first type is when the bleeding is not seen uh, outside. I mean, the bleeding uh, which occurs inside the uterus because of the separation of placenta does not uh, come out of the uterus. Okay, so the blood starts to accumulate inside the uterus. And this type is called as concealed type where the bleeding is hidden. The other type is called revealed type where the bleeding is revealed to the external environment because the bleeding which occurs because of the separation of placenta actually pours out of the uterine cavity so the bleeding is actually revealed so it is called as, called as the revealed type of abrupt placenta mixer type is the one which has both the components uh, which is a combination of concealed and revealed type this is quite common you must also know about something known as covalent uterus in concealed type of placenta abrupt placenta where the bleeding is hidden inside the uterus what happens is that because of excessive bleeding the blood which is present inside the uterus starts to seep in inside the myometrium of the uterus and because of that you can see black patches all over the uterus however this is not an indication for hysterectomy let us see the important causes for abrupt placenta trauma hypertension polyhydramnios polyhydramnios is a condition where there is excessive amniotic fluid twin pregnancy is another condition where there is uh, excess of pressure inside the uterine cavity because of multiple fetuses and smoking is another cause in polyhydramnios and twin pregnancy the important cause is the sudden decrease in the pressure inside the uterine cavity due to the rupture of the membrane okay so due, because of the rupture of the membrane all the excess amniotic fluid present inside the uterine cavity suddenly goes out and there there is a sudden decrease in pressure leading to separation of the placenta in hypertensive disorders like preeclampsia Abrupt placenta is very common, so, so you must be very cautious in treating these patients. Let us see the clinical features first of revealed type of abrupt placenta. There will be bleeding per vaginum. Uh, as the name suggests, it is a revealed type of abrupt placenta, so you can obviously see bleeding which occurs through the uh, uh, vag uh, vagina. And the patient has often has abdominal pain or mild abdominal pain or discomfort. And the general condition is usually proportionate to the blood loss. This is because whatever bleeding which occurs inside usually comes out of the genital tract. So you can actually see the condition of the uh, patient will be proportionate to the amount of blood which he has lost. Okay, And the uterus in this condition is usually not tense because the blood is not accumulating inside the uterus. It is just seeping out. And... Because of uh, this thing, because the uterus is not so tense, you can easily hear the fetal heart sound if the fetus is alive and you can feel the fetal parts properly. The uterine height corresponds to the period of gestation. This is because uh, the, uh, you'll come to understand uh, why I explained these points when we talk about concealed type of abrupt placenta. Okay, just need to uh, remember these important points. In concealed type of abrupt placenta, there will be no or minimal bleeding per vagina because all the bleeding which occurs inside has been hidden and there will be severe abdominal pain because of the accumulation of blood inside the uterus and the general condition is usually out of proportion to the blood loss. This is because all the bleeding which occurs inside the 
uterus will be hidden so you cannot see any external bleeding but the uh, patient will go into sh uh, hypovolemic shock because excess blood loss has been occurring inside but that is uh, not seen externally but she has been losing so much of blood inside so the general condition will be out of proportion to the amount of blood lost uh, the uterus in this condition is often tense this is because of the excess accumulation of blood inside the uterus so because of that the fetal heart sound is not heard and fetal heart parts are difficult to be palpated the uterine size is in this condition is more than the period of gestation because because of the excess blood accumulating inside the uterus what happens is the size of the uterus falsely increases and because of that the period of gestation appears to be more uh, the height of the uterus appears to be more corresponding to the uh, corresponding period of gestation now how do you diagnose the approach of placenta is a uh, clinical diagnosis when a pregnant lady comes with uh, antepartum hemorrhage you must suspect uh, you must have a high degree of suspicion of either placenta previa or abruptus placenta so if you watched my previous video on placenta previa i've explained that uh, pervaginal examination is contraindicated you mean which means you should not perform pervaginal examination in case of placenta previa so clinically it will be very difficult to distinguish between placenta previa and abruptus placenta so that is why before uh, making a diagnosis in a case of antepartum hemorrhage you should not perform pervagin examination as it can be a case of placenta previa okay so before doing pervagin examination you must perform an ultrasound or mri ultrasound is usually preferred because it is readily available and easy to perform and with ultrasound you can make out most of the cases of placenta previa or abruptus placenta okay now management first we have to manage the condition i mean the abruptus abruptus placenta per se and then we have to manage its complications which are very worse okay abruption is managed by uh, termination of the pregnancy if you watched my previous video on placenta previa i've explained that again there, there was an option called as expectant management done by mcafe johnson regime where we can continue and prolong the pregnancy for adequate fetal maturity but in case of abruption expect management is not the deal at all we have to terminate the pregnancy for the sake of mother and uh, uh, we can try to save the life of fetus, but mother's life is the priority in case of abruptus placenta, because uh, continuing the pregnancy can be life-threatening for the mother. So termination of pregnancy can be done by vaginal delivery in most of the cases, or if not possible, can caesarean section can be performed. In case of vaginal delivery, if the membranes aren't ruptured yet, you can perform artificial rupture of the membranes, and then oxytocin is given to enhance the uterine contraction and to prevent postpartum hemorrhage. Cesarean section is indicated in cases where there is severe fetal distress and you can't wait for normal vaginal delivery to happen. And in cases of severe abruption uh, vaginal if, and conditions where vaginal delivery is not possible, like in cases of cephalopelvic disproportion, contracted uterus, I mean contracted pelvis, uh, and then in cases of uh, fetal or maternal, in cases where fetal or maternal condition worsens. Okay. So what are the comp important complications of abruptus placenta? The patient can develop hemorrhagic shock okay, because of excess of blood loss and you should be very cautious in, uh, in, especially in cases of concealed type of uh, abruptus placenta where you will not be seeing any external bleeding but there will be so much of bleeding occurring inside the uterus and suddenly she will go into hemorrhagic shock. So uh, you must have this point in mind. So making an abdominal examination will help us uh, to give some clue, help, will give us some clue. Uh, we can see that uh, as we have discussed earlier, the height of the uterus will be more than the corresponding period of gestation, the uterus will be tense, the fetal heart zone might not be uh, heard properly, uh, the, uh, and the fetal parts are usually impalp impalpable, and all these points can be uh, helpful in making a clinical uh, diagnosis of concealed type of abruptus placenta. So hemorrhagic shock is one complication, and the second complication is disseminated intravascular coagulation, shortly abbreviated as DIC. This is because of release of various factors into the circulation, uh, because of uh, abruption. Uh, this, uh, this occurs secondary to abruption, uh, which is separation of the placenta. Okay, so the only way to prevent disseminated intravascular coagulation is to terminate the pregnancy as soon as possible, either by normal or cesarean, normal delivery. I mean, vaginal delivery or cesarean section. Okay, so if hemorrhagic shock occurs. Uh, how do you manage it? Uh, the main way of managing hemorrhagic shock is by doing blood transfusion. So arrange for cross match and get the most appropriate blood possible, and then you transfuse blood to the patient, improve the 
hemodynamic uh, stability of the patient and as i told you early delivery is the key in the management of abruption placenta as it can help to prevent uh, disseminated intravascular coagulation and various other complications and the maternal health outcome is also improved by early delivery of the fetus so we came to the end of this video make sure to check out our, check out our new merch the link is in the description and it's a limited time offer you can get 50 rupees off by using this promo code and also it is available in various colors you can check out our previous video on placenta previa the link is in the description of this video Thank you so much for watching this video till the end if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and share this video to your friends and comment what what other videos you want me to make in the comment section below thank you so much for watching once again i'll see you guys in my next video make sure to hit the subscribe button to watch more similar videos